Hello everyone. Welcome to Brilliant Public School online edu classes. Today we are going to learn geography chapter number 1 resources of class 8 social science. Let us know the learning objectives. In this chapter students will be able to define the term resources. They will know different types of resources. They will be able to explain different ways of conserving natural resources. which is very important actually and they will be able to learn about sustainable development and the principles of sustainable development it is very important you know for future generation let us know what are resources anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource for example a house water or an auto they all have a utility utility decides the value of a resource value what do you mean by value of resource value of resource means the worth some resource have economic value for example this piece of jewelry it is very expensive valuable it has value and some do not for example this scenic beauty people nowadays they are very curious to know why is the price of petrol always on an increase let us think hmm, why so let us use some key guides from where do we get petrol do we have extensive reserves of crude oil what will happen if the reserves are completely used up just imagine a car without fuel how long will you be able to drive without natural resource it's difficult pretty difficult don't you think so what should we do we should save those resources we need to find out how can we use these resources come on let's know about types of resources like natural resource natural resource that we get from the nature for example tree animal human beings then human made resource human made resource means the resources which a human being has made from using the nature for example this bicycle or this house or car next human resource human resource with intelligence with knowledge with skill when a human is able to convert himself as a resource that is known as human resource well that was very quick so let us discuss about natural resource in detail natural resource exist without the action of human kind this includes sunlight atmosphere water land air this includes all the minerals present in the nature along with all the vegetations and animal life types of natural resources natural resource is classified generally in two types renewable and non renewable so renewable resource which can be renewed for example wind water biomass sun and non renewable which cannot be renewed or get exhausted for example coal nuclear energy petrol fossil fuel renewable resources renewable resources which can be renewed or reproduced for example solar energy wind energy water etc resources like wind sunlight they are present in such a huge quantity that human consumption does not affect them many resources they are replenishable which means these resources are recycled within the environment by natural process and their quantities remains constant non renewable resources non renewable resources get exhausted when they are used for example natural gas and these resources cannot be renewed or reproduced 
for example fossil fuels like coal petroleum natural gas they are the best examples of natural uh, non renewable resources these resources are limited in supplies and it takes millions of years in their formation time to know how human being uses resources extracts from the nature this is known as human made resource for example an iron ore which is present in the nature but with the knowledge technology and skill how a human converts an iron ore into a bridge so people like us use natural resource to make human made resources likewise technology is also a human made resource man made resources they are mostly renewable one can rebuild a building or fix a broken machine remember together we can make a difference population with knowledge skill and technology is known as human resource in other words we can say people are human resource for example farmer doctor carpenter teacher etc why because they use knowledge health and skill you know health and education they help in making people a valuable resource this to work as a very important asset for an individual for that this is the reason why our government has a separate department in the ministry named as human resource development which focuses majorly on the health and education of an individual we need to conserve resources for fulfilling present and future needs so let us know about resource conservation using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is known as resource conservation so how can we do that let us know the ways of resource conservation first by preventing the wastages next by planting more and more number of trees then by using alternative fuels to reduce pollution for example cng by controlling deforestation so that the ecological balance should be maintained by not disturbing animals habitat by saving every drop of water you know water is one of the important reason for the existence of life on earth the other way of resource conservation is sustainable development let us know what is sustainable development balancing the need to use resource and also conserve them for future is called sustainable development it is a state of carefully utilizing resource for the requirement of the present generation and taking care for the future generation so there are certain principles of sustainable development which we should follow religiously like change personal attitude and practice towards the environment enable communities to take care for their own environment respect and care for all forms of life improve the quality of human life conserve the earth's vitality and diversity minimize the depletion of natural resources let's recapitulate some important terms we have studied in this chapter like resources utility and value resources resources means anything that can be used to satisfy needs of a human is a resource utility utility a thing becomes a resource when its utility has been identified for example existence of oil on earth you know this oil was existing from millions of years ago but it became a resource only when a man learned how to use it next value value means worth the use of a resource depends on its value i hope 
after learning this chapter you will definitely be able to convert yourself into a better resource with this hope i end this chapter happy learning everyone